which is uh, going to be this one. But both will have owner mode. Uh, I'm because I don't like those parts, but, uh, also because St. Louis and Washington are the two teams that I'm not going to do, uh, Minnesota and San Jose, uh, five minutes, okay. yeah, I'm going to, hang on, might be done, okay, it's done, I think. Um, all right, I muted it because that's way too much. <sighs> okay, creating new league, new career. Um, oh, sorry. Also, uh, we're going to look at the roster this episode. Um, we are going to see if we need any trades, which we probably will, just to, you know, get some good good guys, you know, that I think could possibly be very good for this team. Uh, so here we are. Uh, let's look at the lines that we have. Now, one thing I definitely know, because I'm a huge Blues fan, no, um, is that I need to fix these lines, first of all. Uh, now I have Braden Shen uh, with them, and I have uh, Oscar Sundqvist as well. I did not update it all the way. I didn't add, obviously, I can't add the Vegas Golden Knights. But, so we need a depth center unless they already have one. No, they do not. Patrick Berglund isn't even a center. I really would prefer he wasn't even, he is a really, he was a center for a long time. I'm thinking about actually changing uh, him to a center because he should be a center anyways. Um, but we really need a second line center. Because uh, Brodziak is going to be our third line and uh, Berglund's going to be our fourth line. Barbashev should go down back to the minors because he's not ready to play in the NHL. So we need a second line, center, definitely. Uh, defenseman, Joel Edmondson and Robert Bertuzzo. That's actually a pretty good pairing. I like these two, definitely. Gunnarsson and Preko and Petrangelo and Bo Meister is a pretty good one. One thing I definitely need, we need is goalies. We need a prominent starter. Or a, at least a backup. But I think we need a good, strong starter for us. Um, so what we're going to do is we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go straight in to uh, trading. Because I think we'll get a better, you know, opportunity out of that. Um, one thing I definitely know we need is here in... Um, Arizona, there is this dude, Clayton Keller. He's an elite potential, 78 overall at 18 years of age. If you're playing this game, you need to get this kid. Because he could turn into a stud. Also, Dunn is actually up in the majors now, but I haven't called him up yet. Uh, I'll give him Godwin. And probably some random, like, low picks. Like, I'll do this. I'll do the 2017 third. No, that's not going to work. Uh, we'll go 2018s. Oh, we're not going to give up our third, actually. We can give up Buffalo's fourth and... Um, instead of that, we'll give up, do we have any double picks again? No, we do not. Uh, we'll go for this second right there, because we don't really need that. No, uh, that's not enough. Um, here, I'll give up the second of 2019 as well. There we go, Clayton Keller. Um, 
roster moves, edit lines. Where are the lines messed up? Did we get rid of Barb? Oh yeah, we did get rid of Barbershop, didn't we? Um, crap. I think um, I'll un I'll dress Robbie Fabry, and I'll put him. He's the third line. I'll put him. Um, up there with Vladdy. I mean, instead of Vladdy. 85, 60. All right, so we'll have Saboka in the middle with Perron and uh, Sunkfist. And Fabry up there with all that. Uh, and then extras, four on four. Who are the centers there? Stashny, Brodziak. Okay. Um, and then we'll do Saboka because he has really high because he has really high face-off stat and that's it all right hopefully I don't have the circle of doom hang on I'm about to go look up Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Um, now let's look for a good second line center. Uh, cen centers, there we go. Mm, Jack Eichel would be very good, but trade value is way too high. Uh, that's just me, it's fine. Uh, so Buffalo's out of the picture. Let's look at Boston. Uh, no, that, uh, Spooner's not bad. He's 24, 84 overall, third line. Um, mm, no, let's, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, let's look at Anaheim really quick. Ooh, Raquel. I like the all right we're gonna try to get Raquel we we sent down Barbashev okay um let's keep Barbashev actually because maybe he can grow down in the AHL we'll get rid of Kiru or whoever this is and some picks now we don't know how Washington is going to do so we don't want to get rid of that one uh, we want to go down here to 2020 and look at their stuff uh, by 2020 I think we'll be a dynasty so our friends are Roster move summary move down would be Keller. Okay. Ricard Raquel. Quality player. Uh, scouting. I already know what we want to do. We want to go to the WHL or the Q. Oh, we need centers really bad. But I think we might have a stud. So let's go for the Q for one good player which is Maxime Comtois um he's a left winger so or is he a right winger no I think he is this. Uh, let's go down here Comtois there he is Maxime Comtois uh pin to watch list there we go for six weeks we'll watch Comtois um let's manage the roster there's just a little bit edit lines uh, we're probably going to scratch one of these guys probably Brodziak because we have Raquel who's better so let's scratch Brodziak and dress Raquel
Because I think Raquel will be better with Schwartz and all that. Maybe we can actually move up Robbie Fett. No, I think Braden Shem will be good right there. Um, but let's go to the special teams. Obviously, I want Raquel right there. Seventy six. Uh that that's fine. Um four man power play. We'll have Raquel there as well. Maybe I can switch up Steen actually for Raquel. Yeah, Raquel has I meant Steen has better face offs, so we'll have Steen there instead of Raquel. There we'll put Paul. Man PK. We'll have Paul Stashney and extras four and four. I think we'll put Sabotka because he has really surprisingly good face offs. He has better than Paul Stashney, and Stashney is our like number one face off. Oh, but Saboka's already there. Oh, uh, we'll switch out Saboka there for right Rachel. Or Raquel, I mean, sorry. Uh, then we'll have Raquel here as well. So Raquel's getting to play a lot. Uh, so is Saboka. Uh, also, we need to s move down to the AHL, where. We need to scrap. Oh, dude, that dude has my. Oh, oh man, he has my, uh, my brother's name. That's cool. Uh, hold this. So Jan Stashny, he has got to be scratched. Well, actually, maybe. Who's our oldest player? How old's Malone? He's only what twenty, twenty-seven. Ty Raddy is definitely going to be one of our good players. So is uh, Barbashev though. And Blaze is actually pr doing pretty, pretty good. Um, I w want I'm going to scratch Megan and Freeze Friesen, I think. Friesen and Megan for Barbashev and Blaise. Let's put Blaise there. We'll move him down to the fourth line. He just needs to grow because he has potential. He actually should. He's really, really good. He should be higher, I think, than an AHL, an AHL top uh, six. Yeah, no, he should be definitely higher than that. And Barbashev should be higher than the top six. Oh, let's just do best lines. What? Nope. Edit lines again. I don't like that. Nope. Mm -mm. I want Keller to be there, definitely. Uh, those are good lines. Ooh. Someone has to be scratched, though, for my boy. Come on, this dude. Blaze deserves some love. Who's our lowest other than Blaze? Uh, 68, I think, which is Megan. I'll scratch Megan and put Blaze there. We have James Wisniewski down in the in the minors. Wow. Um, Barbashev 
should go there at the top. You might actually put Blaze there just... Who's our goalie? Who so? Dunn should not be scratched. He's actually, again doing really good. He's a D man. Sixty six. It's Neil. Uh, who's oldest? That's Wisniewski, but Chris Butler. Yeah. Um. Uh, sorry, McNeil. Uh, yeah. Five line or Jeez Louise. Uh, Dunn deserves it the most. He needs to grow a lot more. Um, special teams. Uh, we'll put, um, Schmaltz right there. And we'll actually move Schmaltz up. Yeah. <laughs> move Schmaltz up. No, down. Down. <laughs> Stop it. Sideways. <laughs> Sorry, my dad's in here. Um, four and four continues. Step out of the way so I can make your bed. Uh, alright. Ow. Uh, Schmaltz, Ellis, Wisniewski, and Butler are all used, so I guess we'll have Vinny Dunn down there. Vinny Dunn goes right there. <laughs> Turn yourself around. <laughs> um, there we go. We finished setting up the AHL. So... There's our starting lineups for each. We have Dean Stashney and Tarasenko on our first line. Schwartz, Raquel, and Shen on our second line. Well, I mean, I do want Shen and Tarasenko, but I think Steen might work out a little. Actually, Shen is younger, so let's put Shen and Tarasenko instead. And then we'll have Schwartz, Raquel, and Steen, Fabry, Berglund, and Yakupov, and <laughs> and Prawn, Boka, and Sungfist on our last line. Uh, our defense is Bumweister and Petrangelo, Gunnarsson and Periaco, and Edmondson and Bortuzzo. <laughs> and our goalies are Allen and Hutton. But... <laughs> Exactly. We're about to trade Hutton to try to get a better backup. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I kind of want to make Allen the backup and trade for a, a starter. Yeah, I know. He's the starter. Trying to use air quotes there. Ooh, this is a hard choice. He's our future. Who should I trade? Opilka or F or Fitzpatrick? Fitzpatrick is 64 overall and 18. That's not that good. Uh, and Opilka is 19 and 64. Who do you think I should trade, Dad? What? Who should I trade? Evan Fitzpatrick or Opilka? Yeah, I know, but he's not that high overall. Yeah, but... True. I need to sign him. You need, you need to sign him, that way he's got... That's, that's your future, that's your potential. Yeah, so... Should I ch keep... Should I just try to put Fitzpatrick in the AHL and then let him grow for the next few years and then still try to make the playoffs? That's tying it up yourself. True. Actually, I turned salary cap off. 
uh, let's do this uh, offer sheet. Uh, wait. Let's view contracts. Uh, I, we don't have list all contracts. Let's uh, unsigned. Where is Evan Fitzpatrick? Main roster, I guess. Uh, where is it? Goalies. There he is, Evan Fitzpatrick. Uh, offer contract. Uh, three years at. At which so yeah, he he wants six six five for three years, so I'm gonna do six seven five because it won't let me do six six five. Yep, it's a dream. It's been a dream of mine to join this team. I will not let you down. All right, so we'll we'll put him as a backup in the minors. Uh, let him you know have a little bit. It's not tying up her salary at all because it's only a little bit. Uh, we'll go down to the AHL, manage the rosters, go to edit lines, make him a backup so he can start a little bit, get some experience. Um, where, what? Oh, scratched. What? It's still, it's not letting me, okay. Uh, scratched. Oh, maybe it's not until next season, or maybe he is on... Maybe did they keep... Is he up here on the main roster? Roster moves. Uh, Jake Allen and Hutton. Uh, maybe I should move Bennington. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Is he... He's in the AHL, it says, but it's not letting me put him, um, Steen is no longer the assistant captain, right? And instead of Steen, it's Tarasenko? I think so. I think it's Stashny, Tarasenko, and Petrangelo that are the... That's right, isn't it, Dad? I think so. <laughs> Hang on, wait. I have the NHL app. I'll look. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Dayton left the party. Um, roster... It's either, I think it, no, it's Steen and Tarasenko Stashny isn't an assistant captain anymore, which I think is kind of crazy, but, so I'll strip, I'll keep it how it is in, uh, real life, Sta uh, Steen, Tarasenko, yeah, Stashny lost morale, so that's not going to be good, it's probably going to go down a little bit, but let's sum to the next preseason game. Well, I, I'm keeping him in for now, but he probably will get injured still. Yeah, if you guys haven't heard, Robbie Fabry got injured in the same knee as last year, but for all year. 94 offense, 92 defense, 86 uh, goaltending. Let's look at the player morale really quick. Um, everyone is trending up. That is very good. <laughs> Broadsy at an 83. 80, 80, 77. Ooh, dude, this is really, really good. This is what I would like to see. How about down the AHL? Ooh, this is good too. Woohoo! How's about those goalies? All right, let's hold a team meeting. Oh no, Tarasenko going down. That's at least the least we wanted to do. Okay, that's not good. Uh, that wait, does that? 
All right, they're still all going up because trading for a quality player and he's happy because he got captaincy and he, all right, so everything's good for some reason, so is Stashney is still cool too. He, but he has two negative things, and one positive thing. But he's still positive. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but let's play our next preseason game against Nashville. Um, let's randomize. All right, so we got the away jersey. There's the, I love their 2010-11 alternate, but I'm going to just go with their home jersey because I like that too. Also, if you guys haven't heard, uh, I just hit myself in the face, and uh, they have Adidas jerseys now. They don't have, like, Reebok and CCM jerseys, so that's a lot different. Oh, I don't think I changed their numbers, so Braden Chen's going to be number one, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll change them in a minute after this game. All right, so Stashing has the puck. Uh, we pass it back to Shen. Oh, that's Riley Smith, I think. Uh, James Neal. Oh, huge in! Oh my God! Oh, there's Shen. Oh. All right. So bum weaster. Oh, Braden Shen on a breakaway. Oh. Nice work by Yossi. Gets that pass after he himself had passed. Slides it to the point to echo. Oh, bum weaster kind of blocked it a little bit. Oh, Ribeiro. I've actually been to Bridgestone Arena. I did not like it. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm a very big Blues fan, but also because the seats were, like, really tight. Like, people think it probably looks, like, really, really good, but it's horrible to watch a hockey game in. Me and my dad were really up high, and the seats were so compact. You could barely sit. Oh, okay. Charging. Two minutes for charging. There we go. Dump it down there. One minute and two seconds. Just over six minutes have been played. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Back near the blue line to Echo. Hammer. Oh, oh Periaco. Nice little lead to Neil. Save. Tries to clear. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Nice block by Periaco. And now we're even. Oh my god! 2 nothing. Blues 
prevailed again. Ball deflected away. Hope checked away by Yossi. Finesse got a piece of that one. Nashville's up the wing, controlling play now. Mashed in. Gathered up again by Bortuzzo. Go, bum weaster. Stash me. Oh, come on, Gunner. Stay. Oh, come on, 30 seconds. Go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. Let's it go. Great chance, but he missed. I don't see too many guys getting away and blocking that shot. That thing had some heat on it. Nashville survived it. Back even. Chip, the grunter. A good cut of the pass. They can keep the pressure on. Breakaway chance. Score. They're back to it. Shen. Thank you. That was finished. horrible. Both teams scored, but there is a lead to carry into the locker room. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Blues are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Nashville's got a lead of one. Puck is thrown to Bomeister. Nicely into the zone. Oh, a save. And he freezes for the whistle. Nice face-off work. Carries it to the corner. Just a good rub out there. The Predators continue on in the defensive zone. Pitching this one to Smith. Right a great save at the edge of the crease. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. And it's cleared out of there. And he iced the puck. Mm. A little under three minutes gone in this period. The Predators with a narrow lead of two to one. Pass attempt to Ribeiro. Look at this! The Blues carry through center. Shoots, and it's driven away. Covered whistle blown. Good job tying the man up on the face off. The teammate comes in. Let's it go. What a reaction. Sliced down. Raquel's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. Allen 
Jones at the bench. Extra attacker out. Toward the net. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. The Predators are given a hooking minor. The Blues power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Possession, moving it up the wing. Flips a wrister. Save. Scooped up by Alex Steen. And the heat's taken off by the clear. The Blues look to make a difference up the wing. Laid on to Smith. Gains the zone. Smith, he's along. Wonderful stop by Minor for tripping. Nashville's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Off a of body. Oh, what a chance. What a save. Slides it to the point to Yossi. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. I didn't even do anything. The Blues will get a two Must have been the freaking computer. The Predators get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage and it's a long oh. God! St. Louis has a two-minute minor for delay of game. That puck was shot over the glass. The Blues with a clean win on the draw. It's there, is that okay? Passing one off now to Neal. And that's an offside. A good tie-up on the face-off. That led to his team getting the puck. Directing that one to Johan. What a terrific save, and he holds on. The Predators win that faceoff. Back near the blue line to Yossi. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. And it's a good pickup. And angled to Pareko. Delayed penalty coming up. Nashville's penalty is two minutes for Elboy. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. A hammer shot from the point. They score! A shorthanded goal! St. Louis on the power has play. an important goal to tie this game up. Maybe they can build on this and take the lead before the second period ends. Into the attacking end. Hope checked away. Predators have had plenty of power plays. This next one is over, and like the previous ones, empty. Play is stopped. Oh my flipping god! The Blues get two minutes, and the call is boarding. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Usually, when you see this many power plays, there's a great glove save. Gets play stopped. Good reach there. And they are in. Nice job. Straight stand-up hook check. Possession taken by Johansson. Scrum over. Puck kicked. The Blues are starting back in the defensive zone. The Predators' power play is over. They've had their problems tonight. Possession seized by Johansson. They score! Oh, my! <laughs> Um, on goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. The Blues through the neutral zone, love the puck, kicked out of the scrum. Nicely off that bump. Pointed to Ribeiro. Oh, come on! He's right in front of you! This is freaking stupid!
My flipping god! This ref's flinking, freaking blind! Deserve that. This is freaking stupid! That's not even a freaking goal! How did Jake Allen even let that in? That didn't even freaking touch anything! His stick goes through his legs, it's freaking dumb! God. An enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here. The coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. Nashville setting things up at center. Now it's directed to Eckhol. Gets in, looks over his options here. Shot on. Oh, stick save. The puck is cleared out. I officially hate Mike Grubero, by the way. I'm freaking... The no! I don't want to freaking listen to your crap. Shut up. Seriously. Can this guy get in front of something? 
Eddie and I have shaken our heads a couple of times tonight with some of the way those goals have gone in. There are nights like that. Looking for a better lane. And the pickup. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Finally! Again! Two! Thank God! Come on! The have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. Fires a shot. I can't poke it because if I do it, then it automatically freaking trips them. He's got his second of the game. She's stupid. I'm trading Jake Allen. Nashville's goal has taken them to After this, I'm trading Jake Allen. On a night that they have had the offense going, third period of play. Jake better pray that we win this game because if we do then I won't trade him away well actually I'm probably going to trade him away anyway yeah now I have to get three goals freaking stupid Jake Allen makes me want to freaking punch him Do you see that? That is dumb. He missed opportunity from this close in. Great point blank save. Great pressure. Tapley slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. Come on, at least score on the penalty. On the power play. Oh, here it comes. The rage is already in. But here comes the ultimate rage. Possession seized by Alex. Oh my god. Come on, this is stupid. End of the ice. Vladimir Tarasenko with it now. Watch him dangerous and exciting. Let's go. How? How did he freaking block that? Down now they can get ready for another rush. The Blues have gotten out of their own end. St. Louis wanting to generate something. They'll try up the wing. Finally! Thank God. All right, two more. Don't let them score anything else. Just two. And there is time here in the third period to get another one or maybe get two and get this game back even. Knocked it away with the stick. Alexander slides it to the point to Pareko. To Ribeiro. Puck is thrown to O'Brien. Nicely into the zone. Good job, Stashney. Pick it up. All the way up to Shen. Come on. Dance it. Dance it. Oh. All right, Tarasenko has it. What? Yes! One goal! Come on, and there's five minutes left. Well, technically less than five minutes. Probably only, like, one minute. I'm gonna lose now. 
Oh, I got it offside. Come on, please. Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Score! And that has tied. I tied it up. Oh my god. 6-6. Six, six. I tied it up at the la in the last Mavericks minute. Come. This game tied up at its most dramatic moment. The waning moments of the third. The Blues got that face-off win now, what? up in the attacking zone the predators are moving the puck in the defensive zone good intercept might turn into something here he hit fabry carefully that is an offside off the face off he ties his man up and so the puck goes to his team propelled to good row enormous hit better get your head up that's a solid hit that he had to take there oh does he have a target on his back? Passing one off now to Shannon. Gets across, looks over his options. Oh, here's a wrister! Oh, oh, oh come on! 16 seconds left, it's tied 6-6. Six, six. Do we have to go into overtime? Ribeiro's got a face I think we might. Win. That breaks a bad streak. That's a good solid hit, he'll feel that one. Yeah, we're going to. Oh. There we go. All right, we're going into OT. It's 6-6. Six, six. Dashney versus John. Oh no. Directing that one to Johansson. Oh no. Then he's all alone. He's in. Oh, tremendous stop by Allen. Gets in. What'll he do? Sticked away. Pointed to Bo Easter. Good bad save. And possession snapped up by Paul Stastny. Echoes nicked up here. Guys, he's gonna have to finish his shift. They're stuck in the road zone. Generate something up the wing. One into another. Oh, and he's hammered. Trying to go to Petrangelo. He's in on the long side play. Petrangelo, the captain scores the game winner. winner. Oh, thank and God, dude. I was <laughs> getting really scared. Okay, guys. Sorry for the yelling the again, but. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm not going to continue anything else. Uh, but, yeah, I'll see you guys later.